Hi guys, this is Greetings, I'm Nika Chung. Welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all having a great day. Today I am reviewing How the Grinch Stole Christmas, directed by Ron Howard and is starring Jim Carrey, Christine Bransky, Molly Shen, and Jeffrey Tambar. And it's also narrated by Anthony Hopkins and is based off the 1967 Dr. Seuss book of the same name. And as you can see, my hair is kind of done for the occasion. It's green, but it's not too green. You know what? It's still green. And I love green salt. <laughs> ah, yes, it's Christmas time in Whoville. Christmas time in Whoville, and everyone is celebrating, buying gifts, decorating, and baking. And while just outside of Whoville lives the Grinch in solitude with his dog Max in the mountains, he despises Christmas. Yes, this is Christmas music. And the townsfolk, due to what happened to him as a little boy, being teased because he is green and bullied by Augustus Mayhew, who was also jealous that Martha liked the Grinch more than him and began to mock him because he had a beard. Years later, nobody liked the Grinch and everyone was scared of him because of his mean spirited ways around Christmas time. Cindy Lou Who encounters the Grinch at the post office and later discovers his tragic past and believes that everyone in Whoville is missing the true meaning about Christmas, thinking it's all about buying gifts, festivities, and so forth, and too little on the personal relationships. So Lindy Lou Who takes it up a notch by nominating the Grinch to be the town's holiday cheermaster. <laughs> Visit him at his house in Mount Crumpet to invite him to the holiday event. This is one of my favorite holiday movies. It's funny, entertaining, and it reminds me of the original animation because of the facial features of the Grinch, especially when he does that creepy smile or when he has an idea. And of course, the iconic songs that we pay tribute to the moody people during the holidays. Jim Carrey's performance as a Grinch was excellent. He took that Grinch to another whole level. But this whole Christmas season is stupid, Ooh. stupid. Mistletoe. Now pucker up and kiss it, Whoville! <laughs> this is one of the best live action holiday films. And Taylor Momsen, who is now a singer who played the character Cindy Lou, Who, was really good. Cindy never judged the Grinch of his appearance and believed he could definitely change, while others didn't believe. The creation of the Whoville characters looked really cool, especially with the noses and the teeth. They definitely looked like Dr. Seuss's characters. Did you guys know that the actors and actress who played the Who's in Whoville had to go to Who school to learn the ways how Who's behave and act through choreography? And the Grinch suit was covered in yak hair dyed green and sewed onto a spandex suit. Jim mentions while getting ready for set each day, costumes and prosthetics were torture every day. And the dog Max is so cute. Many additions were made to the storyline in order to bring up the feature length, including some information about the backstory of the title characters and reworking the story's minor character, Cindy Lou Who, as the main character. Most of the rhymes that were used in the book were also used in the film. I've seen the animated version of The Grinch and it's okay. Colorful and bright, but something was lacking and The Grinch is hardly mean. Looks cute, but I think Jim should have been chosen for the voice as a Grinch and make it based off the live action film. If you guys haven't seen the animated classic Grinch story or the live action, you'll definitely have a good time watching both. I give How the Grinch Stole Christmas 5 Golden Stars. And what you guys think about the movie, let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next movie or trailer review. Later, guys. Love yourself always. And remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys. See you on the next film. Season's greetings.